31 through 35. And arms shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And they that understand among the people shall instruct many. Yet they shall fall by sword, by flame, by captivity, and by spoil many days. Now when they shall fall, they shall be hoping Shall, they shall be hoping with a little help. But many shall cleave to them with flatteries. And some of them of understanding shall fall to try them and to purge and to make them white even to the time of the end because it is yet for a time appointed. Ephesians chapter 5 and 27 5 and 25 first where it says Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing but, it, it, but that it should be holy and without blemish. 1 John 3 and 2. 1 John 3 and 2 and, and 3. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear... We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as the he is pure. The bride in one place has made herself ready. Here John said, every man that has this hope in him, he purifies himself, praise God. There ain't but one way to purify ourselves, praise God. And that's what the writer said, if we will pray in the Holy Ghost, uh, we will build our faith praying in the Holy Ghost. Uh, praise God, when that faith is built up, it begins to push aside uh, and put out the sin. Uh, and I believe it was the writer made a statement, praise God. Uh, he said, lay aside every sin, every way to sin uh, that so easily besets you uh, and run this race with patience. Uh, praise God, we can come to the place uh, if we'll knuckle down, praise God, to the task of the Word of God uh, and God is going to use the people in these last days uh, to preach the gospel to the world. Uh, he said this gospel will be preached in all the world uh, and praise God, but he's got to have somebody uh, that's going to be in a position, praise God, to proclaim it. Uh, God does not want our sins contaminating his word uh, and praise God we can take a voluntary purification process uh, we can begin to seek God in prayers uh, and dedication of our lives presenting our bodies uh, a living sacrifice unto God uh, which is our reasonable praise God it's reasonable expected of us from the Lord uh, we can come to that place praise God uh, or we can let the tribulation days come upon us unaware uh, and Jesus said at one time praise God that wicked servant uh, that knew his Lord's will uh, and prepared not himself will be beaten with many stripes he said I don't want to be beaten with stripes during the tribulation days I want the Lord to be able in that time of tribulation praise God when the Antichrist rises to power praise God, uh, or the troubles that take place in this world. Uh, I want to be able to have a God uh, that can say, we can make a statement as some would maybe question in the Old Testament days, uh, is there a God in Israel? Uh, and praise God, and since we are citizens of the commonwealth of Israel by being in the church, uh, then friends, we should be able to say yes as the prophet said, uh, there is a God in Israel. Uh, if we have been counted worthy to escape the things that's coming upon the earth, uh, then praise God in times of trouble, uh, 
the Bible said that we can go to the Lord in prayer to that high priest in heaven uh, in a time of trouble, in a time of need. Uh, we can receive that help. Uh, we can touch that scepter of righteousness. Uh, and if when we touch that, the petitions that we have uh, are before the Lord. Uh, and praise God, we can call upon the name of the Lord uh, as one of the men in the Old Testament did, Jehoshaphat, uh, in the heat of the battle in the time that he was somebody tried to trick him, uh, somebody tried to deceive him. Uh, oh, praise God, that other wicked king put on, uh, praise God, the regular soldier uniform for the battle. Uh, and this good king, praise God, had his royal robes on. Uh, in other words, he stuck out like a thumb to the rest of the army. Uh, and praise God, the enemy soldiers were commanded and said, I want you to fight with nobody. Uh, I want you to kill their king, kill their ruler, kill their leader. Uh, and praise God, but to show the power of God Almighty. Uh, praise God, when they came in, praise God, that vast army. Uh, oh, praise the Lord, Jehoshaphat loved God. Uh, he was misled into going there, shouldn't have been there. Uh, and praise God, in the heat of the battle, uh, the soldiers came at him, firing their weapons at him. Uh, and praise God, the Bible said he lifted up his voice. Uh, he cried out and said, Lord, uh, and called on God, uh, and God spared him. They didn't touch him. They didn't harm him. Uh, but praise God, that wicked king, uh, praise God, that tried to deceive him. Uh, Praise God that had a prophet put in prison. Uh, praise God that he that prophet told him, I believe he's in one of the uh, Elijah, the, not Elijah, but one of the Old Testament prophets told him, he said, if I be a man of God, uh, you will come back alive. Uh, you will be killed. You will be put to death. Uh, and praise God at that time, praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah, God. At uh, that time, the praise God, an uh, arrow hit this man, hit this king and killed him. Uh, and praise God, but God showed his power. Praise God are protecting somebody uh, that's worthy of protection. Uh, and praise God, what I'm saying, if we will volunteer uh, to purify ourselves from our sins, uh, praise God, in the times of trouble, uh, in the time, praise God, of the heat of the battle, uh, when the enemy is coming in like a flood, uh, the Lord will lift up the standard. Uh, praise God, when the times come, praise God, uh, and they try to destroy us uh, in a manner of form, praise God, Jesus made a statement, said, you can have no, t you can have no effect on me, you can't touch me uh, unless it's given to you from above. Uh, and Jesus had done said, if we will pray, uh, we will be accounted worthy. Uh, and if God in heaven would count us worthy to escape uh, of these things coming, uh, then friend, praise God, the things can't touch us. Uh, and praise God, but we've got to purify ourselves. We've got to be in a position that God can honor his word on our lives. Uh, praise God. We don't just get this, praise God, by continuing in some type of sin uh, or anger or bitterness, praise God, or strife, uh, praise God, or whether it be a lie, or whether it be, praise God, of some sort of sin, praise God, that you read about in the Bible that you're not doing. Uh, and praise God, but if you're sold out and you love God with all your heart, uh, praise God, you will obey the commandments of the Lord with all your heart. Uh, hallelujah. God, praise the Lord and you love him uh, and love the kingdom of God. You seek the kingdom of God first in your life uh, and praise God you're praying in the spirit of God building up your faith in Jesus Christ uh, then friend God's going to look down praise God uh, and that servants are going to be sealed praise God uh, and hallelujah God when the things come this earth we read about there in the fifth trumpet judgment uh, the angel was told saying when you see that seal in the sign in the foreheads of my servants he said don't you harm them uh, oh praise God friends when people of this world are going to be tormented uh, praise God for the five months praise God they're going to desire to die hallelujah God Bible said death will flee from them uh, they're going to be tormented for five months uh, but God's people at that time the seal of God uh, praise the Lord the angels going to look to their foreheads and uh, and they're going to see the seal of God there, uh, and they're going to bypass them, uh, and they're going to plague everybody around them uh, and torment them, uh, and praise God that we will be spared uh, the same way as Israel was spared in Egypt. Uh, when Israel was in Egypt, praise God, and the plagues came on that land, uh, praise God, God had respect to Israel uh, and caused not the plagues to come upon them. Uh, it's the same God in our generation uh, that's bringing forth these things for the last days uh, and praise God, if we can be accounted worthy, uh, it's by doing the things that Jesus said. Uh, if we will eat the words uh, and eat the flesh uh, of the Son of Man and drink his blood, uh, we can have the life in us, praise God, that death can't touch. Uh, hallelujah, God, when we follow the Lamb of God, whithersoever he goeth, uh, praise God, he's going to do what he did to Barak in Jeremiah's day. Uh, he's going to give us our life for a prey in the times of evil uh, when the rest of Israel and Judea, praise God, was in 
captivity, uh, of being tortured and tormented and killed uh, and taken captive and prisoner. Uh, the Lord uh, uh, had the enemy come in there and tell Jeremiah, praise God, and those of his uh, men that would follow him, uh, you can have your life. The land is open to you. Go where you want to go. You're not a prisoner. You're not captive uh, because God is able to, to provide a place for you. So, right the side of we will enemy. voluntarily pray at home uh, and find a place to pray, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, praise God. Uh, hallowed to God. Knowing about the end time, the Bible said many that understand are going to fall. Uh, and many people that can understand these things, he said, are going to fall. Uh, so what we've got to do is take a little note to ourselves uh, and look and see if we be in the faith or not individually. Uh, if you're not praying at home in a closet prayer somewhere and getting a hold of God, uh, you won't be once going to be spared. Uh, it don't matter, praise God, whether it be a wife or be a husband, uh, a son or daughter, whoever the prophet said of the Old Testament, uh, you're not going to deliver, praise God, their soul. Uh, everybody's going to deliver their own soul by their righteousness that they have in God. Uh, hallelujah, God. That's what he told me. He said, even Noah, Daniel, Job, if they lived in that day, they couldn't do nothing for their sons or their daughters. Uh, praise God, because if they've got to do it for their own self. Uh, praise God. Uh, you've got to find time at home sometime to read this Bible uh, and to seek God in prayer uh, until you have prayed through to the Spirit uh, and you feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost on your life. Uh, praise God. And you communicate with an unknown tongue unto God. Uh, praise the Lord. Paul said, when we pray, in the spirit. Uh, he said, when we're praying in the spirit, our understanding is unfruitful. Uh, Apostle Paul said that. Uh, praise God. When, but he said, but when I pray in the spirit, uh, he said, my understanding is unfruitful. He said, but God uh, understands what I'm saying. Uh, God understands because it's a deep, it's the inside inner man. Uh, it's praying and interceding to God. Uh, and praise God, when that contact is made, uh, when we're in that unison with God right there, uh, praise God, it begins to clean out the evil in our hearts. Uh, it begins to take away the evil in our hearts and our minds uh, and purifies us. Uh, and friend, if you've ever prayed through, you know what it means to feel that purified, clean feeling. Uh, and you also know what it means to feel contamination. Praise God. That's why if we'll be willing to voluntarily, that is the key, that is the most important thing for a Christian is prayer. More important than God anything is when we else have contact a... with God in that prayer of the Spirit of God and praying in the Holy Ghost, as Jude said. Uh, and praise God, when we are praying in that spiritual place with God, uh, that cleanses our heart out. Uh, if we done that every day, our heart would be clean every day. Uh, and then the God of Israel could look down and say, there are my people are marked. Uh, they are pure. God's got a some type of vision. Uh, praise God that he sees like these x-ray machines can see. Uh, he can see through things. Uh, he can see through our hearts. Uh, he can see through our soul. Uh, he can look down in the innermost being of this individual. Uh, and praise God, he can tell if that Christian's real uh, or that Christian's faking in front of the others. Uh, he can tell, praise God. Uh, and friend, we can't fool God. God is not mocked. Uh, whatsoever a man is sowing in the dark, he's going to reap it somewhere. Uh, and praise God, but God said, but my people uh, are called by my name if they'll pray, uh, if they'll humble themselves and pray. Uh, I'll heal their land. I'll move for them. I'll be for them. I'll hear from heaven. Uh, hallelujah, God. We're going to need God in the tribulation. Uh, if we will volunteer, purify ourselves in prayer uh, and dedication to the Lord, uh, then God will spare us in these evil days that's coming up. Praise God.